Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. So Disney CEO Bob Eager says that he's definitely going to step down in 2026. This is after his contract is done, expires. Bob has been working with Disney for a long time. He's been working with Disney since 2005, and he's been in a couple of different positions. He originally started in 05 as CEO and chairman. Uh, that ran from 05 to 2020. And then he became executive chairman and chairman of the board. That ran from 2020 to 2021. And then he returned back to CEO in 2022. So there's been a lot of pressure, it looks like, on Bob. It's a lot of things going on behind the scenes with Disney. We hear stories about this all the time. Um, so they're saying that these comments were made, the executive made comments at the New York Times uh, Dead Book Conference, which was covered by Reuters, CNBC, and other media outlets. Um, Igor says that the secession process is robust. Okay, So Igor was brought in to, to basically right the ship. But of course, there's been a lot of problems compounded in the last few months, they're saying. The company has dealt with several box office disappointments, including this uh, past week's deflated debut of animated film, Wish, they're saying, was a flop. Um, it comes in, they're saying, as a top of poor response to the Marvels. He's also under pressure, they're saying, by activist investor Nelson Peltz, who has called for more drastic improvement. Uh, they're saying that Bob Eager himself created a whirlwind of speculation back in July when he had an interview with CNBC, and he mentioned that he thinks some of the networks, um, he didn't think some of the networks were core to Disney, including ESPN. The comment kicked off chatter about potential deals with Allen Media Group, which owns Local Now, several local broadcasters, and the Weather Channel. They're saying making this an unsolicited bid for the ABC network and its cable channels. He also told employees on Tuesday during a virtual uh, town hall meeting that ABC and ESPN aren't for sale and reiterated the sentiment on Wednesday at the Dead Book conference. Eager says that the legacy assets weren't for sale, but that we're constantly evaluating their fit. All right. So, you know, some people are saying, why wait, leave now? Some are saying that it doesn't really matter. Um, many say that he's going to be paid all the way up and through, I think, 2020 something, like uh, close to 2030 or whatnot. So, you know, I think a lot of people have different opinions about this. Questionably, I'd like to know who would come in to replace him and what difference would it really make? I mean, there's a, there's, there's an attitude here with Disney, it seems, where, you know, they, they don't, they're not playing nice. They're using their name and their legacy, and it's sort of a bullying situation here. They're not playing very nice with cable companies. They're not offering the best deals to them. We've seen this with, with Spectrum. Spectrum's had this issue. So, I mean... It's a different world. You you have to you basically have to break bread if you want to stay in business. People are going to watch Disney through a cable network provider. And if Disney isn't kind enough to work with these cable network providers, then no one's going to watch the programming. The only reliability they would have is people going to the box office and seeing movies. And as as we can tell, People don't go to the movies like they used to. It's too expensive. And after the pandemic, there's still a lot of people that might be scared to be boxed in a room with a bunch of strangers uh, who might be coughing and, and you know, sick. Um, and that's just how we are. You know, people are more alert now uh, because of what happened. Either way, more importantly, movies are very expensive. And me personally, I haven't seen a movie worth paying for in quite some time. I wait for it to hit Netflix or wherever else, you know, wherever I can get it, where I'm not paying for it. So that's me. Many people might still find that it's worth going to see movies, but apparently not enough because a lot of these recent Disney films are flocking. Now you can blame the scripts. You can bl blame the uh, 
the content itself, which of course is ultimately very important. But I don't know. It's an interesting, uh, interesting here to see where this will all pan out. If it, if indeed he does keep his word and step down, he probably will have some kind of connection to the company. He might still have a voice, a very strong voice in what happens. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, I don't know if he should just like disconnect himself altogether and get some new fresh, you know, blood in there and see if they can drive the company uh, in a better direction. Also, there was some discussion about uh, the deal between Disney and Comcast uh, when in, in regards to Hulu. So they're saying that this deal is, uh, I talked about this before too, Comcast's one third take in, in Hulu. They're saying that this deal is expected to close shortly. Uh, Eager also commented saying that, the, uh, that he set up a rigorous process to determine if he should buy the rest of Hulu or sell it back. Uh, but he did say that he's going to take full control. The company plans to offer an app that combines Disney Plus and Hulu, and they're saying as early as next month. So I've been hearing about this for a few months now. So I, I think the deal is definitely om almost done. So just a little extra information for you, for those of you that are interested in what was going on with that deal. So anyway, I'll keep it short here. Not much more I can comment other than we'll see how this pans out. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.